Opinions on the movie Hitch. It was mostly a good movie. I mean, there's some parts that Will Smith definitely acts like a fucking douche. But overall, it was, it was pretty funny. And, you know, when I first started doing this, it was a few years after um, Hitch had come out and people were always going, oh, Coach is the real life Hitch. I haven't, I haven't seen those comments in a long time. Because when is that movie, 20 years old now? Something almost like that, yeah, yeah. 15, 20 So it was like when I first started, it's, that was still in the conscious. And I, 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 re- I watched the movie once and I remember most of it. I was like, this is pretty good, whoever wrote it. They, it was they, really Maybe right. they read my book because I know a lot of people in Hollywood have read my book and... I like when I see that stuff showing up in the movies because then you got a positive archetype being presented and not the, you know, the 99% beta male archetype that's always presented in just about everything. The woke stupidity that's in most of the movies. I mean, just look at Star Wars, you know, the girls are the heroes and the guys are a bunch. I mean, look at Luke Skywalker. He was the hero of the galaxy and now he's some fucking eunuch that lives on an island all by himself and... He sunk his um, his X wing fighter in the ocean and just avoids everybody. And it's like and, it sounds like my kind of friend. Daisy Ridley comes, you know, and you look at all the training that Luke went through to get his skills, and she just naturally is, you know, like a Jedi, like Yoda level Jedi skills with almost no training at all, and it's just it's fucking ridiculous. And that's what happened. George Lucas put Kathleen Kennedy in charge of his company and you know so now all the heroes are girls make it gay and that's why <laughs> i was waiting for that for the new what ones yeah the south park episode he's like make the, it lame and make it gay what the uh what's the new like one the, the acolyte thing. i think yeah. you got some lesbians in there now and so they're trying to present all this woke stuff and everybody in large goes this is you know especially like when you see um what was it the equalizer the the great movie series that the great Denzel Washington has been in. And then you see the TV show with Queen Latifah, who's this obese woman who's like throwing dudes across the room. And it's like, you're going <laughs> punching guys like a dude and beating them up. And you watch and you go, that is the worst choreographed fight scene I've ever seen in my life. It's so not believable. It's like, it's ridiculous. You know, or you see these, uh, um, I think there was another Charlie's Angels movie that came out a few years ago, and these girls have like toothpicks for arms, and they're beating up these big muscular guys, and you're going, "Oh, come on, that's so ridiculous." Hey, Pilates is like Nobody the new thing. Nobody believes that shit, and then the movies don't do well, and they go, "Oh, it's because your misogynists don't want to go to the movies." That's what it is. It's like, no, it's just not believable. You're not going to see some little scrawny, ninety-five pound girl throwing a two hundred fifty pound bulked up dude across the room it's just not gonna happen exactly it's not realistic if you watch murder mysteries you would know that any man doesn't matter his size is almost always going to be able to take down a woman doesn't matter her size it's just biology i mean that's misogynist that's misogynist, I hate, Erica. I hate to say this, but I really did enjoy what Caitlyn Jenner said about the Olympics. And with the whole, um, you know, women and men and then trans having them, having biologically, like, their own I mean, division. They, well, they should have their own no, category. No, yeah. right. They need to have uh, their like own. Like a third category. So it's like, you know, XY, XX, and then trans they all need to just be in their own divisions you and got a baby maker or a ba- a baby factory it's like one or the other if you can deliver the baby you go in this dis- you go to this area if you can spit the baby out from your penis you go to this line and if you've done some modifications <laughs> and if you've altered anything, you go to that line over there and you guys there you all go. fight each other. There you go. Because I mean that fight that I that they were all talking about, it, it upset me. Like when I I, I I think what I've read is like she was like a hermaphrodite or she, she was had some sort male, of advantage. She had extra genitalia. chromosome. She has the extra chromosome. She got like both. She's got an extra chromosome. She was an Indian and an Audi or something. I, I thought the extra chromosome makes you retarded. 
No. Like the 46. Well, women can have three X's also. Oh. No, because like an extra chromosome, that's like the slow people. There's, like there's a lot of different, there, there's a lot of different like abnormalities and stuff like that that can happen in genetics. But they didn't really, I don't think they disclosed what happened or with her issue. Google it. But, um, yeah, Down syndrome, you get, if you have an extra chromosome. It's a third copy of the chromosome 21. That's tri- trisomy. No, that's trisomy Latin 18. Latin facial features with weak muscle tone. Yeah. Huh. Third copy of chromosome 21. Mm-hmm. The more you know. Mm-hmm. Then there's another one that only women get that's with, I think they have three X's. Yeah, What's and then they have like a triangular, like uh, neck and nose, and I just I remember studying all of this in genetics, and I had to do like a paper on some of these, and I, I tried to just wipe it all out of my memory because I don't want any of this in my head for when the time comes for me to have babies. I want none of this. 